the Babylonians, and they came back and rebuilt it. Um, Nehemiah came back and put it back together again. Uh, there was a time where it was destroyed, you know, it was rebuilt by uh, Solomon, which was beautiful then, at Solomon's time. He made it even better than Nehemiah had it, because Nehemiah was made out of wood, which we'll point out at the model. This is going to help you guys to understand when we go to the model, the Temple Mount area. Mm -hmm. We haven't been up here for three years, so this is the first gr group that's been up. Um, we, then uh, after Solomon built his temple, uh, then it was destroyed, and then, of course, it was rebuilt. Then um, it went through an incredible change that Herod came and made it into something similar to Solomon. And he, this is when he built it, you know, and this is the area of the Antonia Fortress over here. Mm -hmm. If you remember, we walked right along the back there. The Antonia Fortress was here, mm -hmm. okay? So it's looking over into the temple. The Mosque of Omar, they have a rock in the middle there saying that this is the very rock, mm -hmm. you know, where, where, you know, Abraham sacrificed, uh, almost sacrificed Ishmael, right? This is, wh this is where they part company. Again, um, I don't believe that this is the center. I, you know, because a lot of people say, well, if this is the Temple Mount, this is the Mosque of Omar, this is holy to the, to the Muslim, then how is the third temple going to be built? Because according to Jesus, according, and this is in Matthew 24, in verse 15, where he said, when you see the, behold, the abomination of desolation set in the holy place, flee to the mountains, right? Flee to Petra. Petra. So it has, there has to be, according to Daniel 9:27 a temple built in order for the Antichrist to set himself up as God and then to start, you know, to stop the sacrifices. They're already training to do the sacrifices. You're already at the Temple Institute. Everything's ready for the, the third, I call it the third tribulation temple. So this is where I believe. Now, if you want to, you can, you can write Bar Magazine, Biblical Archaeological Review. It's a great magazine to get if you're into the latest digs in Israel, the ossuary box of Jesus, you know, that whole thing went through the, the bar magazine. Well, in the bar magazine, if you write and ask them for the issue that was about Asher Kaufman, Asher Kaufman has his philosophy, his theory of, and he went around in the Temple Mount area and studied all of the cornerstones. He studied all of the, what is remaining of the temple. And he found over 50 evidences that the, the temple of God was a hundred yards away from the mosque. And there's the temple of the tablets, the temple or the, 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 the dome of the spirits, the dome of the tablets. See that little dome right there? Mm -hmm. He believes that that is the center of the old temple. So what they could do, they could build the temple on this portion you see, real quick, with you know, in a, they can build a te the temple very fast, and there could be worship in this temple by the Jews in the tribulation temple I'm talking about. So he believes that this is where the holies of holies was right here, and it's a very interesting article. There are various theories. I don't know his. I lean more towards his because he has all this evidence. So you know, but. Again, it, it can be done, and it talks about in Revelation chapter 11, verse 2, about the profane place being outside, and the, you know, a wall, a separating wall in between the profane place and the place, the sanctuary of God. Incredible. Ezekiel talks about the same thing. So you can actually then have both of them standing, because you know, sometimes there, there's been Christians, believe it or not, strapped with dynamite. Uh, a number of years ago, a guy came up here wanting to blow it blow it up to help God out so they can build the temple and let's let the Lord come back you know it's ridiculous they they of course rested the guy and he spent a long time in prison and um, but the Antichrist is going to be so good at what he does as, at negotiating that he's going to be able to negotiate with both sides they're going to be happy and they're going to be you know s s somewhat praising God or the Antichrist for his peace in the Middle East they're going to get along Together, they're going to be kissing cousins again because of the Antichrist. I believe that you can have the mosque here and the temple here, and it's going to, it's going to be fine. But guys, we are gone. You know, during all this struggle and during all this thing that's going to be happening up here, we're going to be gone. We're already raptured, and for seven years, and then we're coming back with the Lord. So, this is the Temple Mount. 
This is the, the area where Asher Kaufman believes the holies of holies. In fact, when we were underground, the, the tunnel outside the wall here, and we were walking along the wall outside, then we saw that big area where it said the Temple Mount. Well, that is right in line of this. Uh, and the East Gate, when he shows you the various, in his magazine, show you, shows you the various places where the temple was and all the, the, uh, the, uh, the evidence he saw in all the cornerstones, it lines right up with this as being the Holies of Holies. And he shows you overlays so you can see it. Oh, so it's an interesting article if you want to get it. You can send and they'll send it to you. It's one of the hottest uh, selling uh, articles they had. Okay, I'll ask you that on the bus. How accepting of the Jews are the, of this uh, evidence? Do they oh, believe the, the same too? Or are they the Temple well? Institute probably more so because the Temple Institute, you got to realize it's a small group of Jews, mm -hmm. uh, you know, getting this thing together. Uh, there's a small group that are now learning how to sacrifice in the, in, the, in the schools and they're going towards the whole thing of the Third Temple. So when it does lock in and, and, and the Antichrist is here and allows it to happen and there's peace and the Temple's built, they're going to move right in with everything because they have everything now. Even the, you saw the Candle Menorah, the five foot candle with the bowls on top. Well, yeah, that's a little item that they needed to find and then they say they know where the Ark is. So they'll dig it up when they need it. First, they believe they're looking for a man like Moses. They're looking for a savior. They're looking for a deliverer, and they're looking for a man. So they are set up for Jesus said, "I came in, you know, I came in the name of the Father." There's another man coming, coming in his own name. Him you will follow. You will, well, you won't follow me, but him you will follow. So the Jews today are set up for the Antichrist, for the common market. They love the common market and what's happening in the common market. They want to be a part of it. And they're setting themselves up for the Antichrist to receive what but not the lies. No, 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 no. That's just. In fact, that's not even his name in the Bible. Antichrist is something we put on him because he, he's called many things, but not Antichrist. But he is Antichrist in that. That's the spirit he comes in. It's the attitude and the whole thing. Totally against everything that Christ said. So the Antonio Fortress wouldn't have been up against these walls. And not these walls. No. No, it's further down. But it's huge. You got to. It it's huge. The, the should measure it from where those. Oh yeah. Are oh yeah. He did all of that. And so it's a great uh, book to get if you into bones and stones, because he really does, you know, show the latest digs and what's happening. So if you want to get a picture, if you want to get a picture over there by the dome.